scores of people were arrested following intelligence that were mobilizing the masses to demonstrate the skyrocketing prices of commodities in the country. According to police a spokesperson, those arrested include local leaders in Kawempe Division who have been commanding the business community not to dare open their business as a sign of demonstration against the current high cost of living. We have the report. For several days, reports of a planned nationwide demonstration against the high cost of commodities have been spreading on different social media platforms. These reports also indicated that no one was supposed to engage in any productive work or even open their business premises as a sign of dissatisfaction. Addressing the media today, police spokesperson Freddy Nanga revealed that over the planned protests were organized under the Conga slogan, which subscribes under the National Unit platform. Police alleges that these threats are instigated by a number of local leaders, especially in Kawempe Division, who are moving around telling people to stay in their houses. A number of these leaders were arrested. In Jinja District and other places of eastern Uganda, it is said that demonstrations had begun, but police were quick to disperse the masses. Meanwhile, two more people have been arrested in connection with the murderer of Kamocha Healthy 3 chair person James Kakoza. Also three people were arrested for the murder of Michael Betungura Bewate, a UCU student, during Makere University Guild President campaigns. From Kampala and metropolitan areas, the police are investigating the murderer of a one Kavanda, a habitual thief in Nansana. Meanwhile, the National Task Force on Human Trafficking registered 64 cases of human trafficking last month and this constituted mostly cases of aggravated trafficking in children. Mbali and Kampala districts took the lead. According to Agnes Igoye, the deputy coordinator for the National Task Force on Human Trafficking says that last month the number of offloads of human trafficking victims increased. This is part of the effort to curb cases of human trafficking in the country.